in case you did not know, every woman has some form of discharge. It is your girl Carly Ray, and for those of you who are new to my channel, my name once again is Carly Ray. I am a registered nurse. I reside here in Texas. I've been a registered nurse since 2012, and it is now 2019, so that means I've been a nurse for seven years. My specialty is in emergency medicine. So today's video is a very, very type of hush hush sensitive type of topic that goes on within women's health. It is also misunderstood. I know you guys have seen this video about this product all over YouTube, Facebook ads, or even if you've seen it on Amazon, but I really believe that this product is the new way. So let's go ahead and address the big giant elephant in the room vaginal discharge if you guys do not know vaginal discharge is completely normal the vagina is a self-cleansing organ all of us will experience vaginal discharge sometimes where your vaginal discharge may increase is before or after your menstrual cycle during ovulation sometimes during sex you may have an increase in your vaginal discharge but all of these are normal I don't want you guys to be confused about a vaginal discharge because like I said before, the vagina is a self-cleansing organ and it is designed to do such. There are some other things that may alter the normal amount of vaginal discharge that us as women have, such as yeast infections and bacterial vaginosis. Let's be real, y'all. Doctor's offices is so hard to get into. Like you'll call them and be like, hey, um, I need a checkup. Can, what's the earliest appointment that you guys have? They'll check the calendar and it won't be for a whole nother month. Like who wants to sit with this type of problem? I am here for you guys to let you guys know all about this product and to cut down on that hassle to get in to see somebody because nowadays it's really, really hard to get in to see our primary care doctors or OBGYNs and who wants to result to going to the health clinic or even to an emergency room to have this looked at and treated. So this product, this holy grail product that I have found you guys, it is called Boric Life Suppositories. It is all natural. It supports the pH balance and vaginal health. So this product y'all is the holy grail product and it actually cures and treats BV, and yeast infection. So I know you guys are probably thinking, okay, well, what is a yeast infection? What is bacterial vaginosis? I will break down each of these topics for you guys. Okay, what are yeast infections? So by definition, yeast infections are overproduction of the fungus called candida. Some signs and symptoms of a yeast infection include thick, clumpy, white discharge. It honestly puts me in the mind of cottage cheese. I don't know if you guys have seen cottage cheese or even ate cottage cheese before, but it honestly puts me in the mind of cottage cheese. Other signs include vaginal itching and irritation. So those are some signs of a yeast infection. With bacterial vaginosis, by definition, bacterial vaginosis is a overproduction of the bad bacteria that you have within your vagina. So if you guys do not know this as well, let Nurse Carly tell you, there is good bacteria and bad bacteria. So you have to have good and bad bacteria to balance out the pH in the vagina. Bacterial vaginosis occurs whenever you have a overproduction of your bad bacteria. So there are several different things that can throw off the balance of the good and bad bacteria, and those being antibiotics so I don't know if you guys know that or not but antibiotics when they when you take the antibiotic they kill all type of bacteria they kill all type of bacteria that is susceptible to that antibiotic so that right there can throw off the balance of good and bad bacteria uh, douching can throw off your pH balance um, for some women taking baths can throw off your pH balance so as well as heavily scented type of soaps like those soaps from Bath and Body Works those type of things like that so us as women we honestly need to pay attention to our bodies these are all common things that women go through I don't want anybody to be ashamed or embarrassed about this topic because honestly this is very common within women signs and symptoms of bacterial vaginosis include a foul fishy smelling odor 
I don't know how many times in my seven years of being in an emergency room, I have had women check in with these type of complaints. But I want you guys to know that there is a different alternative out there where you don't have to go to the emergency room and wait for hours and hours and hours and get pelvic exams and things like that and be embarrassed about this. You don't even have to go to your OB-GYN's office to obtain this product. So on the bottle, it says that it is all natural, supports pH balance, and supports vaginal health. In this bottle, you will get 30 vaginal suppositories. So for those of you who do not know what a suppository is, let, let me put it in layman's terms for you. So a suppository is pretty much a pill-like type of substance that you have to insert into the vagina or whether it be the rectum. So in this case, we are talking about a suppository for the vagina. So the reason why I say this is the holy grail is because y'all, this can be obtained over the counter y'all do y'all know like and i mean let's be real we have all as women either had a yeast infection or bb and for some women unfortunately they have recurrent yeast infections and recurrent bb episodes it can actually go to amazon and this product is actually offered on amazon on amazon they do have the section where you can read the reviews so you guys all you have to honestly do if you don't want to take my word for it or any of the other youtubers that have actually talked about about this holy grail product then go on amazon and look up the reviews so let's talk about for a second the directions on the bottle so on the bottle it said you will insert one boric life suppository into the vagina preferably at bedtime for seven consecutive days if the symptoms do not resolve within that week then you can do it for a second week and if your symptoms still persist then you can actually use it twice a day and if this is not working then yes i do advise you to go ahead and set up an appointment at your ob gen's office if this product typically isn't treating it then that leads me to believe there may be other causes to your vaginal discharge which may be a std um, and if you guys do not know what STD means, that means sexually transmitted disease. So I would highly advise you guys to go, go, go and get that checked out if this does not work for you. Also, sexual intercourse should be avoided while you are actually doing the suppositories. So one thing that I have found by reading the reviews is that you guys may want to put on a panty liner while you are using this product. The reason why I say you may want to put on a panty liner is because the vagina is a self-cleansing organ. So if you're putting something in your vagina to help it cleanse, then be expected for it to have some type of discharge while it is in that phase of cleansing and restoring the normal flora of the vagina. So just make for sure you guys do wear any type of panty liner or pad while you are using this product. So they also do have what they call pH strips. The pH strips are designed to test the pH of the vagina. So on it, you can see that it says feminine pH test strips. And right there where it says 3.0 to 4.5 is normal. Anything above that 4.5 is abnormal. The reason why I say this is really a good product is because this strip will actually tell you when your pH balance is actually off. So all you do is take one of the pH strips out, you will actually rub it on the inside of the vaginal wall and wait for the results to actually populate. That will tell you for sure if your pH balance is thrown off and if you need to go ahead and take one of the Boric Life suppositories. And I would recommend keeping this in a cool type of environment, um, not somewhere where it will be hot because it is a substance that is like a it puts me in the mind of like a little small wax stick type of product and if it's too hot then the product may melt what you'll do is you'll take one of these pills and actually put it on a applicator and the way that you use this is that you will insert the pill at the top of the widest part of the applicator and have the plunger pulled all the way back and then you will lay down and kind of put the applicator into the vagina and kind of push it up as far as you can. Not making it uncomfortable, but put it to where it's most comfortable and kind of up there as you can. I don't want you to put it kind of just at the opening of the vagina because it may fall out. So that's why I say you really need to have this applicator to push it up there and you'll retract the plunger and 
toss it and throw it away. So now I, I know you're probably thinking like, well, Carly Rae, how can I prevent myself from getting a yeast infection? How can I prevent myself from getting bacterial vaginosis? To prevent these type of things, some things that you can do at home is to A, drink more water. I know that sounds so cliche, y'all, but you don't understand the benefits of drinking water. H2O. You get what I'm saying? So if you're ingesting all this soda and all these toxins and things like that within your body, your body will then metabolize all of that. And a lot of the times, a lot of the food and stuff that we eat and drink are not really just healthy for our bodies, let alone our vagina. And they in turn can affect our pH balance of our vagina. Another way to prevent this at home is to eat your fruits and veggies. Once again, I know it sounds so cliche, but y'all, fruits and vegetables and extra consumption of water is very, very healthy. Another way to prevent this from happening is to avoid heavily fragranced type of soaps or washes or anything of that such. Those type of fragrances affect the flora and the pH of your vagina. So go ahead and just eliminate that out of your feminine routine. Another way to prevent this is, of course, I'm, I'm sure you all know this, but to wipe front and back. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but it is actually the proper way to wipe yourself is to wipe from the front to the back, from the vagina, to the rectum. If you guys do not know, there's a lot of bacteria within the rectum. If you wipe from the back to the front, then that in turn will introduce a lot of bacteria from the rectum into the vagina and ultimately throw off the floor and the pH balance. I hope this video was very, very helpful for you guys and to kind of help ease a lot of you guys' mind because like I said, we all have been here a time or two and we all have vaginal discharge, whether it's good or bad. Boric Life Suppositories, y'all, they are the GOAT. I 100% say try them out. I will have a link to all of these products listed down in my description box below. So make sure you guys check that out. So I will go ahead and end this video here, guys. I hope, I hope, I hope you guys give this product a try because I don't know about you, but this will stay in my cabinet in my restroom sis this will stay so i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to comment like subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye babies